I Hello. Think we're I think we are. It's back to, I don't know when we're on, because it's been so long since I've done this. That but you are back. I'm back, guys. And we're all glad. <laughs> Thank you, Denny. <laughs> Well, welcome to Wednesdays. We have an awesome, cool project that I found at a thrift store. Yeah. Well, I was tootling around town one weekend, and I came back, and I was like, Denny, I found this really cool bowling ball bag, and you should make a leather one, because vinyl is dumb. And Denny's mouth dropped. And he did. He was like, oh, that's <laughs> nice, Liz. Thanks. <laughs> Any other great suggestions? <laughs> but... The master has done it again. Oh, we don't know that yet. <laughs> he hasn't actually finished one of these. Usually I make a prototype, but this time, this is the prototype. <laughs> this is the prototype. You guys are... Liz, did you see what we did while you were gone? Yeah. So I actually got to meet Marvin um, the day before I left. He, he came in, and so I got to... Tony and I gave him the tour, and I got to meet him and his wife. Very sweet, lovely, lovely people. And so when I came back this week, they were like, Liz, check out these super cool bowls that we made. And this is really cool. That is cool. That's one that was one that he didn't finish and just left here, so I decided to lace it. As Denny does. As Denny does. <laughs> yeah, set it down there. Maybe get a shot of Oh, there we go. Yeah. So this thing is just super gorgeous. I'm assuming this is some Herman Oak? Yes, that's Herman Oak. Okay. That's bridal, I yep, believe. Some bridal Herman Oak with some of our awesome floral embossed leather here and then some turquoise kangaroo lace, I'm assuming. Mm -hmm. That's really good me. I know some stuff. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, when he was lacing his corners, he did it with some turquoise thread. Yeah, I saw that one over yeah. here. And that looks really great, too. Yeah, so this is, we got this one with the thread. But I love the top lace. Yeah. I think that looks really snazzy. Kind of really finishes it does. Off. It does really make it a lot more expensive, though, doesn't it? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> That's why we do things like that. <laughs> Painting is a much cheaper option. Uh, the lacing is quite nice. <laughs> so yeah, no, this is this is really nice. I heard all of you guys really enjoyed Marvin and all of his life experiences. He had some really fun stories for for you guys. So I'm glad that that. That uh, was a fun week of videos. Yeah. Old Bomb Squad Marvin. <laughs> <laughs> they let me blow things up. That's, That's what great. he said. He said, I had the best job in the world. They paid me to blow stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> Who doesn't want to do that? Yeah. We all want to do yeah. that. We just don't get the opportunity to do that, except for like once a year when we can buy yeah. some fireworks. So, yeah. all right. So, bowling ball bag. So this is a side of the green Herman Oak that yeah. um, we attempted to sell on some of the live sales, but nobody wanted it. So I said, well, Denny, green is the perfect color for a bowling ball you bag. You guys wait and see if, if this turns out, of course. But you're going to love this green. Yes, I already do. It's cool. so gorgeous. This color is just phenomenal. So we've got your faux welting. It's yes, welting. Yeah. It just doesn't have a... Yeah, uh, it's a uh, folded welt. It's yeah. like piping. Piping, that's what it is. Yep. Anyways... So, Denny, you, you've done a lot of pre-work. Yeah, I made myself a pattern. I didn't take this apart. I hate Hold taking on. stuff apart to make a pattern, so I just kind of... Look, the, the bag it. even came with the ball, which was super awesome. <laughs> the ball kind of matches the bag, so that's going to be... Does. <laughs> yeah, we need a green ball. Well, it's going to be contrasting <laughs> colors. It'll be contrast, but it'll still be beautiful. Yes. Look at that. Green and brown go really good together. Okay. If you look at the inside of this, and I don't know if you can see the inside of it. Tony has a camera for that. Yeah, it's got a little little spot there with a, like a, what would you call that? A, a, a divot. A divot. A divot? A divot that the ball sits in and doesn't roll all around. It's got a ball coaster. A ball coaster. That's right. <laughs> it's, a ball, it's a bowling ball coaster. So in this one, this one, so it has, it's just a plastic insert that's riveted onto the bottom. So that's where the ball sits. So I just kind of measured all the, all the approximate dimensions. I figured we don't have to be too exact because, I mean, bowling ball, as long as it'll fit in there good. That's right. I think we're going to be fine. Yeah. But I made myself a pattern for the outside. Really, really 70s vibes going on here. I would assume that bowling balls have a specification that they have to be in. Yeah, I think the only difference is in the weight of yeah, yeah. And where they put the holes, are. maybe you yeah. don't even have thumb holes. Do they have some that don't have thumb I think, holes? I think there's a guy that bowls it in the professional bowling league that doesn't. How would you hold it? You just hold it in your fist, in your hand. Holds it like this? Yeah, he holds yeah, it with two hands, like and this. then he just throws that sucker out there. I bowled once in like the last decade, so I'm not an expert at this. 
Me either. So whatever we do here is not expert. Just remember that. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I'm pretty good at making stuff up. <laughs> yeah. But anyway, so. so I made a pattern for the outside. This is this is the approximate dimensions of the outside, and I think it will work. Did you measure it? Did you? I yes, I measured from here to here and from here to here, and guessed at all the rest. <laughs> and then added some. <laughs> then added some and subtracted some. But I, you know, that's the way to go about making a pattern. You can just kind of use paper. Yeah. Paper's pretty cheap. Yeah. Don't don't use leather. Yeah. If if you mess one up, wad it up, <laughs> use it to start a fire with, start over. <laughs> Roast the marshmallows, think yeah. about your next plan, right. and then start again. Yeah. But anyway, that's what we have. You can see the little bottom part there, and this, this is uh, the approximate shape. We're close. <clears throat> so let's, Denny, what do we got here? So overall, we have from the very extreme measurements we've got 32 and a quarter yeah something like right that. right about 32 and a quarter if we go just center line to center line it's 31 and a half mm -hmm. maybe yeah right about 31 and a half and then across the center of the bottom eight and a half inches here yeah and then if we go the extreme measurement here we are at 12 and three quarters the thing to keep in mind, though, we're going to lose some on this dimension all the way around because of because of our uh, our seam that we're going to put in. Right, there. you have to have a seam. So allowance. I figured I figured probably between three eighths and a half inch that I'm going to lose. So this is a, about a half inch oversize all the way around. I From think. the final dimensions of what you measured. Yes. Okay. Okay. But, but it's the just same size as this. Too. Because I'm I'm not real good at following instructions. Denny doesn't love rulers. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, this is what we have for this piece. And this is what it is. Now these are bag feet because if you'll notice on the bottom of this it has a little feet for it to stand on. Well and this ball is stout, so you want to protect yeah. that leather a little bit. Yeah. Otherwise it's just gonna scratch up the bottom of your bag. And I had these are just some rivets that are holding this uh, little divot on. And this your I ball just, coaster. That's yeah. your ball coaster. And I use this the same leather that I'm using for the outside of the bag to make this this little square divot with, and I just used about four layers of it and glued mm -hmm. it together. Yeah, because originally, like you thinned this leather down to what the six yeah, to this, seven. This is about yeah six seven ounce leather. Okay. On the but outside. it started out as saddle skirting. Yeah, yeah, it was heavy. It was probably twelve ounce mm -hmm. in that area. So I don't know if you can see. The, the end result of how thick it was. Yeah. So you had but one it's thick enough. All right. you've got to do is be up high enough and make your circle enough where the ball will just sit in there. It does. It just goes. It just sits in there. Did you it? put your cartouche on the bottom of that? No, I did not. Why not? I did not. Because I don't know if I want my name on it. <laughs> it's not done yet. This is prototype. We're not sure if it's going to turn out very well. But anyway, and that's the name of that tune. And I've already cemented and riveted this piece on just to save so, some time. Just for everybody's information here, if you really want to get snazzy with this. So we've got a seven inch square, right? Yeah, right. Is this a square? It looks like a Pretty square. Pretty much. It's a Pretty seven much. inch square. And then the circle that he cut out is three and a half. Yeah. So. And you can cut out a, probably a three inch circle might even be better. You wouldn't have to have it quite so thick. Okay. But you don't smaller. want much smaller than that, or the ball will want to kind of roll around. Right. I would say. Right. But uh, it was neat. I kept a little. I was telling Liz I kept the little center pieces and glued them together. Now I have a green hockey puck. <laughs> He's gonna try that out this winter when the lakes freeze over. Yeah. <laughs> Can't fish. Might as well go and do some ice hockey. <laughs> That's right. That's right. I don't know if we quite live in the climate for that. It no. might be. It might be a little warm yeah. here in Missouri. Well, those people that invited you up north, you gotta yeah. take them up on it. Okay, I will. I will I'll bring my hockey puck. <laughs> okay, that's that's the actual outside of the body. Now the gusset on this has a zipper, but the zipper doesn't go all the way around. If you'll notice on this, it stops right here, which is, I don't know what, About four, halfway. four inches, five inches from the bottom. Hey, I have a ruler. You do. You should have brought your So, box. let's see it from the... The yeah. zipper, yep, five inches. Five inches. So it runs a little bit below that, probably like a half inch yeah. below that. But there again, that, that really doesn't matter. All you want to do is make sure that it opens far enough to get that ball in and out. 
You don't say. Yeah. Yep. Is that the goal there? You don't think they'd like you throwing your bowling ball down the, <laughs> the back down the... Mind. So let's see but, here. But this... Okay, let's measure yeah, this. Yeah, I was going to say, so we've got seven and a half inches in your width here. Um, and the narrowest part... This ball is going to fall on the ground. <laughs> that would crush a toe. We have to contain this ball. Yeah. So on our narrowest section here, we've got five and three quarters. Here. Oh, here we can. I mean, we can put it in the bag, but you're kind of using the bag. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. So five and three quarters in the center, and then it is longer than my ruler. So. Yeah, but but that's another thing that I want to tell you. I've made this over length. Okay. Because so you, I don't know exactly how long it needs to be yet. Gotcha. Gotcha. But I made I made this zipper approximately the same length as the zipper that's in. So we've got on twenty. The so from the, the total length of the exposed zipper is 27 and a half. Yeah. Yeah. So the zipper itself is probably 28 and a half or 29. Yeah. And then let's just from end to end. So we've got 36, 37, 38, 39. Yeah. We've got about 39 inches. Sorry. Yeah. Approximately there. Yeah. 39, 40. But see, when, when we uh, actually go around this, we're going to be a, a bit long here so I can trim this off but I'm gonna I'm gonna stitch this part on on each side okay and then I will stitch that I will stitch and trim the bottom part because I don't know what to make that yet there you go okay so that's as that's, long as we center the zipper everything else can can fit how it needs exactly to. Okay. exactly that's the trial and error part of it <laughs> and and like I said, like she said, this is our uh, piping or our, our folded welt, whatever we want to call it. Now on the front side, I made uh, two little handles here. I made round handles, just a piece of leather. I stitched to, I yeah. I folded. I I think I put a piece of cord on the inside of it. You think you did? And and stitched it round. Okay. Yeah. But you can make any kind of a handle you want to. Just but it does plain, need to be pretty stout. Yeah. Because this is going to be a heavy bag. Yeah, just a plain leather strap would work fine. Mm-hmm. No, but I, I made these that round ones. They, pretty heavy. They heavy. used plastic ones on that, too. They did. They used plastic. Yeah. They and, are ugly. And we do this stuff out of leather, so we made leather. <laughs> That's right. Okay. Now, here comes the retro part of this. I also made these little deals. Yeah, yeah. Which you're gonna fit on each side, right and they have a loop on them that our uh, that our handles are gonna go to. I'm not gonna put the handles on till after this is already all put together and stitched. And that's what it's gonna be. Yeah. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna glue these uh, these four. What would you call these? Appliques, I guess. Yeah. Whatever you want to call them. Accents? Yes, accents. Well, they're your strap hangers. Molly said this yes. is very John Deere-ish. Yeah, Maybe we'll I take it out it, to the local dealer and I suppose guess it, it is. is. <laughs> yeah. Maybe yeah. they'll give us a cap. Yeah, I doubt it. They'll just say thank you. and <laughs> Say we'll sell you a cap for 15 We'll sell you a cap for 15 bucks. <laughs> Thanks for the bowling ball bag. Yeah. <laughs> So I think Denny does have some paper patterns here, and I might finagle Tony into trying to get them to scan in so that we can have a digital pattern somehow of this. But it, it is rather large. Yeah. I, I suppose we could do 50%. Yeah, you could do half of it. Yeah, yeah, and then you just double it. But these these parts here, there are just two parts to this. Yeah, so you've got your little, is this in there? Mm -hmm. well, it is kind of in there, but. Yeah, but it's just two parts and one on top of the other. Uh, this is the, the zipper gusset, and this is your end gusset that goes on this, over the zipper. And this is your bottom here. Notice the perfect circle that I drew here. <laughs> <laughs> and the four nice rivet holes. <laughs> Denny, do you want to tell them why there's why there's okay. an array? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes. That's what Liz said the first thing. She said, I like the array of, of, of hardware, hardware here. <laughs> okay, this first one here is actually a, a bag, what do you call it? A, a bag, bag foot. foot. Mm -hmm. 
And then this is a copper rivet and burr. That's holding. You can see that's holding our your your coaster on. Our coaster, our ball coaster. <laughs> and this one is to cover up a mistake <laughs> that I hardly ever make, but I sure did this time. <laughs> but it looks fun. I was gonna put I was gonna put the bag foot out here, but that would be too close. It would make the bag foot kind of wonky when it too. Yeah. When it, it wouldn't be supportive. Around. Yeah. On the on there. So I moved it and rather than start all over on this, which I have skived all the way around by the way, but this is about uh, five to six or six to seven ounce leather that I've got, but I skived about half of that off all the way around the edge. Yeah. Because, <clears throat> and I did the same thing on, on this gusset, skived about half of it off because we want to, we're going to have to stitch this inside out and, and then turn it right side out. Yeah. And uh, so you want I didn't that to... want it to be quite so heavy on those on that seam part. It'll, it'll, but you don't want to skive it too thin for this because it is a it, it needs to hold. Yeah. 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 So, yeah. like you said, it was probably six to seven, and now it's probably like a three ounce or yeah. a three to four somewhere yeah, in there. Yeah, three to four. Yeah. Or something like that. But yeah. anyway, now then, I guess the next thing to do would be. Do we have any paper? Um. No, we're a leather store. There was <laughs> in that in that bin over there. You see that white roll, uh, Nick, right in front of you. Or he, never mind. Tony's got it. Yeah, bigger. What? Uh, so we did what? Seven to eight for your coaster. Your coaster uh, on the inside. What was the weight on the? No, no, that's I, like twelve ounces. Oh, that's full that's weight. Full weight. Full weight skirting, and then we split. This is really nice. Camera. The outside of the bag, I know that's what I think. The outside of the bag, this part, what is the weight on that? Seven to eight, and then sky. This, is, this is about five, six, or six, seven. Okay. I think probably six, seven. And then your handles? The handles are full weight, probably an eight, ten, or nine, ten. So, a green Herman Oak that it came to us, we tried to sell on the live shopping that nobody wanted. I don't understand why. I, it's beautiful. But and then, the uh, and then just natural Herman Oak. Yeah, that's a natural Herman Oak. This, so, is, this is about a uh, two to three ounce Herman Oak on the on the underside here because I didn't need any weight. I just mm -hmm. needed an accent. Six to seven. Six seven. Yep, yeah, right, right in the middle, and then we've got he skived it down to just about five. It looks like four to five at the edge. Yeah. So just so you know, people, pay attention to you, Danny. Yeah. They notice that you got a fresh haircut going on. I did. <laughs> It is really fresh as of yesterday. <laughs> and then do you see what Dean put on there? No. <laughs> zipper. He goes, yay, yay the the zipper. zipper. He you like money, a money bowling ball bag. <laughs> okay, I'm going to just spread a little cement on here. And you're not going to rough those up? No, I don't. I could, but I run a chance on roughing up a little more than I wanted to. So I'm not going to. And you're going to sew them down anyways. Yeah, I'm going to stitch them out pretty close. They won't, this part of it probably won't work a whole lot back and forth. Yeah. So if I do a nice stitch job, I think we'll be okay. I hope we'll get <laughs> I have faith. Some guy, somebody on on YouTube was saying, so this is the guy that spray painted the water tower? I don't know what that means. So. <laughs> did you spray paint a water tower? No, no, I don't okay. think. If I did, I wasn't aware of it while I was doing it. And I've done things like that before. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't say that you were doing it irresponsibly. Maybe you were just painting water towers. <laughs> Maybe that was a profession before you got into leather crafting. <laughs> water tower. What the water painter. tower painter? You know, when I was younger, I probably should have tried to think of things like that. <laughs> Something that there's not a lot of competition in. <laughs> <laughs> you don't think so? Hey, Liz. Yes, sir. Do you know what today is the first day of? I sure do, Tony. Did you want to share or did you just <laughs> want to leave it back? <laughs> so. Go on. 
welcome to November, guys. I, for those of you that were with us last year, we did 20 crazy days of sales in uh, 2020. Um, we are going to up that ante with one more day this year, and we've got our 21 crazy days of sales. That starts today with our fin and feather. Um, fish and feather. Fish and feather. You know, fins, fishes. Fins, fish fish fins. You know, it's whatever you want to call it. Um, boxes. So make sure. So for those of you that doesn't know how this works, every day we will release a new item. Um, and so keep on the lookout. If you go to the website, there should be a banner that you can click on and you can sign up for those emails so that you don't necessarily have to go to the website every day. You'll just get an email letting you know what today's item is and it will run from the day that it's released to the 30th. The 30th. Yeah. The 30th. Okay. So the fish and feathers box will be on there for 21 days. Yeah. So that is our longest running sale. As the days go on, obviously, you know, it'll be less and less time. So keep an eye out on it. Um, we really sh there's going to be some Herman Oak on there, some okay. black Herman Oak. Okay, yep, yeah, we've got some, I think, some thin black mm -hmm. collar that we have. There's a 21 items mm -hmm. um, for the 21 days, so definitely go sign up for that email newsletter so that you can keep track of what, what we've got going on, and then just kind of make a plan how you want to spend your money. You Lots can... of leathers on there. There'll be multiple yeah. items on um, Friday okay. Okay. after Thanksgiving. And on... And then Cyber Monday. Monday, we're going to get crazy. Should I talk about it? Sure. So Tony and I, um, instead of doing our live sales, for those of you that have been tuning in on Thursdays for our live sales, um, I believe this will be the last week for that. So tomorrow will be our last live sale on Thursday of the month. Um, and then Tony and I are going to start collecting items. And Cyber Monday, we're going to be selling items for five hours straight, guys. Wow. We're going to be here with you. We might have to take some bathroom breaks because that is a very long time. And I need a lot of coffee for that. <laughs> um, but we will be here. We're going to be um, doing live sales for five hours on Cyber Monday. Man. So the plan that we've kind it's of talked about, one hour is going to be veg tan. Okay. One hour, maybe hair on type of stuff. Yeah. And then we'll do exotics. So once once we're done with this Thursday, Tony and I are going to start getting a plan and a schedule together. Right. And then we'll release that. So for you guys at home, you'll kind of know like what hours we're going to be doing what. And so for those things that you're interested in, you can tune in and, and I think watch we're gonna for that. we're going to do it 12 to 5. 12 to 5? I'm thinking. Not that, really. seems, that seems good. That way everybody can kind of get in. You got you know that it's coming. And maybe you don't, maybe don't, you don't need any more oil things. You just want to look at the veg tan for that time. Or maybe you just right. want to see exotics. You can just come in for that hour. Yeah. So we will have more information as that goes along, but just FYI. And also go sign up for that newsletter so that you can take advantage of these 20 crazy days. 21. 21 crazy 21. days. Be sure Very to specific. get that extra in Yes. There. You guys, I forgot to tell you about this. This little, it's called a chape for the, the belt oh, or no. the the loop of the the handle loop and this is just a piece of leather it's an inch wide it just depends on what size loop you're going to use here as to how wide a strap you need but i made a little pattern for it is that our somewhere. new tri tri glide slide what probably that? is i don't know i just went out there off the wall and, and i think that it, i think that it is. i'm not sure why we cool. called it a tri glide slide but that's what we called it Anyway, this is just a piece of leather an inch wide and about to four or five inches long. So we don't, if we measure it, I'm going to get confused. <laughs> so we've got probably three inches to the turn, so about six inches about probably. About six inches yeah. long. But that doesn't matter as long as it, everything works out. And I've punched holes in it, as you can see there, and that's where my rivets are going to go. So he's got holes through there, and then he's also got holes on the back side through the, the tab as well. The shape. Okay. And I mark these as I punch the holes so that I can make sure. Oh, I hey, Denny, let's. let's oh, there you go. Right there. Okay. okay. Oh, sorry. I can turn that off. And I've got a little glue on the outside, but I'll use a piece of the eraser and get that off a little later here. He's going to erase his glue. It's okay. very handy. Yes. Eraser. 
Oh, Lil Fear asked, how do you fill up your glue pot? Don't let me do it. Take this off and up. pour glue in it. <laughs> you can, uh, this glue pot is pretty simple here. You can just tip it like this. Pour glue in there till you get however much you want. And it'll just continue to fill up this little reservoir. Yeah. Yeah, as long as you have it tipped, it'll it'll be going back in the reservoir. And that's and, why, so this is the new style with this, right? Because it didn't used to have this. It had that, but this, oh, this, this little was part right here okay. was wide open. Right, just, right, right, right. It narrows down yeah. here. Yeah, so this allows you to pour the glue into this little, this little catch. Yeah. And then it'll just run down. Okay. Pretty good little glue pot. We like them. You guys seem to like him. And Denny numbered all of his little appliques so that he knows where they go. I did. If, if you don't do that and you don't get your holes just exactly in the right spot, you're in deep, deep trouble. We don't want to be in deep trouble. No, I've been in trouble enough in my life. <laughs> that one's a little cockeyed, Denny. Yes, it is. That a little better? Yes, yes, it's much better. All right. I've got number three here. Three goes over here. Why are you so quiet? I'm sorry. What happened out there in Las Vegas to make you so quiet? <laughs> yeah. Las Vegas beat What's, me down, guys. What happens in Las Vegas? I'm not allowed to talk about Vegas. it. <laughs> <sighs> oh, we just ate a lot of food. Looked at some really beautiful knives. Tell me, tell me about that one knife that you were talking about. <laughs> You, you need to expound on that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm nervous to do it on live television. <laughs> we don't need to mention names. <laughs> so I went just out. Just dollars. Just dollars, <laughs> yeah. yeah. So I, I went out there and uh, we helped, along with my our, our lovely vacation, we, uh, we helped run a, a high-end knife show, and uh, my husband and I. And there was, there was one knife that went for... More than my home. <laughs> it's worth. But uh, one one really beautiful piece of art. That's what we'll call it. I mean, they're knives, but anything. Um, it is really, it's a piece of art. It went for $153,000. At auction. At auction. Wow. Yep. Yep. It's a very sought after maker. So that was that was quite an experience to uh, be in that same room and to, to see that happen. You guys could make a bowling ball bag that you could put on auction too. Yeah, just, just find a really, really fancy bowling ball yeah. that has some significance to some famous bowler and then make a bag for it and yeah. and then auction it off. At a high-end bowling ball bag auction. I'm sure they have those. <laughs> They're, I, I heard something about like a vacuum cleaner convention like a few weeks ago. I didn't know that was a thing, but apparently people collect old vacuums and and convene and talk about them. <laughs> That's good. Did you just say a vacuum cleaner convention? Yeah. Okay. It was on the news. Or I think it was. I, I, mean, I heard, you heard about, about it somewhere. somewhere. So at least it was somewhere that it got out. Everybody knows. <laughs> Okay, I'm going to the sewing machine. And we've got our lovely class 26. Yes, our lovely class 26. Okay, and Denny's on. kicking cameras. We about lost the camera. Sorry. And I have a coffee cup, but not my coffee cups because I took those home before I went on vacation because I needed to wash them, um, and then I forgot to bring them back. So I'm going to work on that. Okay, and I've got to 138 thread in here. Got a black color because I figured that might. It probably was Kirby vacuum cleaners. I own a Kirby. 
I did. I used to. You could, that was one of the things they did. You know what they did with Kirby vacuum cleaners when they came to the house to house selling them? They they would pick up a bowling ball with it. Oh really? Yeah, I think Oric does it too. <laughs> Why are we talking about vacuum cleaners on a Because <laughs> we talk about everything here. It's also true. Yeah, Denny uh, doesn't like your stitch. Your thread. Thread got caught, caught around your whoop de doo. I want to do that right. You got to take it out and start all over? No. Okay. I know you would like me to. There it is. So you guys, everybody has sewing machine problems. It could be as simple as your thread is underneath your your spool. spool. Yep, yep. If that thread gets too loose or it, you know, the tension on it falls, it'll fall down and get caught up on that little lip there. Little fear said that you sold your coffee mug for more chips in Vegas. <laughs> guys, I gambled a whole five dollars away in Vegas. Yeah. Really, that was all you did. You know, it just—it's just not that exciting. Like, this is what I kept telling people: if I actually played poker or blackjack or some fun card game, I think it would have been exciting. But those machines just really—they don't do anything for me. They're—they're uh, they're just so bright and it's so loud. And plus, people smoke in there, and I really don't like that. So, yuck. Yeah, I don't. And I had to wear my mask when we were inside, and so we just—we spit very little time inside. <laughs> we walked we walked the strip a lot. And uh, we we did walk through all those huge casino malls which were amazing and just didn't go into any of the stores because they're all very fancy stores. Like Tiffany's and Harry Winston. Harry Winston guys. You can go to Vegas and buy some I don't know, million dollar jewels? Who does that? I don't know who does that. The person that buys $158,000. I do say knife, but it's not, it wasn't real. It was more of a dagger. I mean, the dagger is a knife. It's just an overall, it's a category. It was, it was a dagger. Okay. It, was a, it was a beautiful, beautiful dagger. It can only be touched with white gloves. White gloves, yeah. Did uh, your friend from uh, over here that gives me a knife roll, did he have any knives there? No, no, they have a very specific uh, collection of Is people that are invited. An invitation? Yeah, yeah. So there were there were makers there from all over the world, which was which was pretty neat. But with COVID, most of the international. Actually, I will just say all of the international makers were not there. Their knives were. But um, with all the quarantine periods and all of that going on right now, it's a little difficult to come into the show for a one-day, or come into the country for a one-day show. Yeah. So let's see here. So Andrea asked, um, is there a template or a pattern? We do have, Denny has patterns um, or, or templates for the bag. I'm going to try to convince Tony that it's pretty large. So it's going to be a little bit difficult for us to format it to print, but I do think that we can do it. So I'm going to see if we can figure out how to get at least um, the main body part so that it's downloadable. We'll try to figure that out this week. But I did, if you go back and watch the beginning, um, we do kind of give you some overall dimensions and measurements of, of the different panels that he's working with. Um, and then we'll see we'll see how it goes. Denny actually hasn't made one of these yet, so this is his prototype, and we're just hoping that all the pieces fit. So there might need to be some adjustments made here and there. You know, even after I make a prototype, if I make the same item twenty times, I usually adjust it a little bit each time. Yeah. You know? Perfection is pretty hard to come by. Well, you decide you like this thing this way, and you want to do this. Like whenever I got here, I was like, "Oh, Denny, you should have done your piping out of the natural hermit oak for a little extra jazz." And uh -huh. you know, like it, 
there's a lot of little adjustments that you can make. Not that it's going to change the size, but... The best thing to do is just look at another bowling ball bag if you want to make one of these and try to mimic it or change it however you want to. Yeah, this this thing was like 12 or $15 at the thrift store. So go to your local antique store. I bet they have one. I've seen, after I got this one, I've seen so many bowling ball bags at different thrift stores as, as we walked around and I never really noticed them before. Um, but they mm -hmm. seem to not be extremely unique. Um, so yeah, go find one and, and measure it and maybe you can find one with some different appliques or a different little design or something that matches your style. Uh, so Helen Hill, who's a regular on the live shop, and says, will you not be doing the live show after tomorrow besides the Cyber Monday? To clarify, it'll just be for November. Yeah. We're going to do the one that's tomorrow, and then we'll start back up in, in December. Yeah, yeah. So the rest of this month, we won't be doing any more Thursday lives, because otherwise Tony and I won't have... We won't have the inventory to build right. for a right. five-hour Monday sale. So... The rest of November, we're just going to be working on our, our five-hour sale, and we'll do that on Cyber Monday. And then starting back in December, we'll, we'll get back on our Thursday schedules. Tate says it's his first time catching you guys live, usually on uh, usually at work, but on vacation. Woo! Vacation! Right. I'm not going to lie. I didn't catch any of our lives while I was on vacation. <laughs> Appreciate you supporting us, Liz. <laughs> Oh, and also uh, flash sales and what's up Wednesdays. Oh, okay. Yep. So no more, no more flash sales and what's up Wednesdays. Just for no, just, just for, for November. November. Just for November, guys. We're just we're prepared. We tried. We did it all last year together. We about uh, killed everybody in the store. Yeah, it was a lot. So we're gonna. We're planning we're accordingly. Focusing. There's some pretty good. I mean, there's. What I say, twenty-five dollar. There may be ten dollar sides that are on there. But it's a pretty good twenty-one days. Yeah. Some SB foot stuff that's on there. Yeah. So instead of doing, you know, like the little specials that we've been doing, it's every day. So every day and for the next something. twenty-one days, we will be releasing one or more items. So if you go to the, if you go to our website, at the top of it, there'll be a menu item that says twenty-one crazy days. There's a banner that's there that I'm changing to when you click on it, it'll go to it. And it'll say day one, day two, day three. I don't know what happened. Oh, do you need snips? Is that what you're looking for? Yeah. You're good with scissors. Those scissors look like they're really sharp. Yeah, sharp as a marble. Sharp as a marble. I just don't think that they're together. <laughs> they got a little slack in the bolt. Oh, hey, I can start burning if you want to flip you that can, over. You can, I will here in okay. just a second. I can be helpful too. And I didn't backstitch any of this because it's all going to be inside the seam. So hopefully, we'll make it inside the seam. Now I'm going to burn myself. Are you doing anything? What was his name that's on vacation? Tate. Tate, are you doing anything fun? Besides watching us live? <laughs> watching Springfield while they're live. See, some people think this is fun. <laughs> 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 Don't you guys? Uh, we hope so. It's fun for us, too. I didn't get any response whatsoever from that statement. <laughs> <laughs> it's a blast. No, we do have a good time. All right, you do that one more time. I sure will. Oh, oh, I didn't get these two. If you'll just finish your job, Denny. I know. I'm bad like that. Burn my fingers. Be sure to just leave 
with those extra. What are you looking for? I was looking for a piece of poly board. But I guess I can get by without it for now. Uh, here. You can use that one. Thank you. All righty. Okay. That's all done. Now I'm going to trim off these ends here. Which... Oh, can you, wait, can you move to the middle there? I guess. Gosh, you bossy. <laughs> Dinner did you bell. that ring? Yeah, I did. We did say this is a prototype, right? <laughs> There's a definite possibility things won't work out perfect, right? Oh, no. I have faith going to be great. I think it is going to work. All right. I guess I can't put this off any longer. We're going to have to do this. Yep. Okay. First thing I got to do is find my centers. Do you want me to rough this up? Because I feel like this needs to hold. Okay. Yeah. Rough it up just, just a little bit. Yeah. Okay. You have a rougher. Right. Get rough with it. Let me try not to rough up my own fingers. Have you got a pen or a pencil? Here's a pencil. There's a whole stack of them behind you. I found them. Okay, good. Okay, I'm marking the center of this pattern. side I need to be able to see. Yeah, this green hermit oak is just gorgeous. And I say you you wanted some for I do, I want to make I want to make some of these belts. Or I don't know about some of them, but at least one and then like a regular belt. You've got a whole some might need one for one. me. That's all. <laughs> Perfect. Tony, I'll make you a belt too. Oh. I still got that money belt. But I have a green one to go with it. I'm if you just if you just stop wearing gym shorts, you could well, actually wear a belt. Coach. Our website was put together by a gym teacher. I'm just trying to fit the needs. <laughs> just fit the profile? <laughs> yeah. So when I fully get profile, I'll be, <laughs> be right in there. What you doing over there, Denny? I'm just marking my centers. I'll show you here in just a minute after I get them all marked. I mark these centers because when I when I cement this down, I'm going to start right here with this center point. This is the center point on this gusset. This is the center point on the, the bag body itself. So I'm going to start right here to cement it. Then I'm going to cement it around like that on each side from, from this center. Because I don't really know where to start other than, other than that right Other there. than center? Yeah. Somebody on YouTube chat says, Woohoo, this is one that he has really been looking forward to. Cool. Really? Yeah. Well, we're glad. Because there's some people that didn't say that. <laughs> they did. They were upset with us. <laughs> then we got Sean that's watching on his uh, VR system. He thought by now Tony would have had it in, in 360 Three. view here. But we don't. How? how? 
How Listen, you guys. guys. Yeah. Set up a 360 camera. Okay. There's one. Okay. Well, I'm gonna fold this. Kind of use it. You want to just just the very edge of that if you want to scratch it. Too. Oh yeah. Does it matter what size or what side? Uh. You want to start over here? It doesn't matter. Okay. It doesn't matter. Okay. Um, Liz, what were you doing and why? Oh, I am roughing up. Um, this is smooth. Oh, sorry. Yeah. So we got we got the the smooth leather here, but this needs to be glued to the smooth side, and this needs to stay in place while Denny's sewing it. We don't want that to move around. So like these, we weren't really these aren't going to go anywhere. They're laying flat. There's no tension on them. Right. This is so we didn't worry about roughing up the surface of this before we glued these down. But these need to stay in place, and uh, with with like the grain side surface, it it's. It's not ideal. So yeah. I'm using rougher and uh, just scratching up the surface where we're going to be gluing. Yeah, any, anything that's smooth, you need to scratch up if you really want it to seam it to hold. Yeah, yeah, because contact cement needs to soak into the leather because it adheres to itself. It's not adhering to, to, the, to the leather. Material, so you, yeah, yeah, yeah. So you want it to soak into those fibers. Uh, let's see here. This is going to be awkward to rough up on the. Denny, you're just doing some glue over there, right? Right, I'm just putting cement on the edge of this. Uh, Denny and I are doing piping. our gluing party. We love yeah. gluing parties. Yes, it makes us happy. <laughs> <laughs> Do whatever makes you happy, isn't that our motto? That's right. Charles says that they enjoy watching, he enjoys watching, learning from you, and especially the Denny Burns. <laughs> Have I done any of those recently? That Liz did. <laughs> did I? Pulled out my gym shorts. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, foolishly says it's called giving leather tooth. <laughs> Tate said, out in Hawaii, went camping for a few days ago, and went fishing, no luck though. Had fun, came out here for my son's birthday, and to see my parents. Nice. Well, that, that sounds quite lovely to me. Yeah. Uh, let's see, what else was there? As far as uh, kicking back and watching Denny and Liz. No, I mean, you both have last week off. Well, I wasn't in here last week. Well, you know what I mean. You were on the video. <laughs> they made me do workmanlike things. <laughs> this is really awkward to rough up these I know, that edges. is. That's... What about doing leather ornaments and accessories? Leather what? Ornaments. I think I saw somebody oh, the other day. Christmas ornaments? Instagram what? that was doing some ornaments. He just did like some shapes. I think it was like little trees or something. Well, Pierce said, better yet, how about a Christmas tree? <laughs> I guess you could do that this and you don't even have to paint it. Yeah, you just use brown collar and the green and you got yourself a tree. Yeah. Charles thinks that you guys need to make me a pair of leader hosen. wearing <laughs> shorts all the time. Love the leader hosen. Okay, well, there's half of it roughed up. Nice job. Thanks. Nice job. So I'll do this. Okay, I'm going to do something that I forgot to do, and I'm glad I remembered while you were doing that. So I told him to make a list, guys. <laughs> I, have to, I have to rivet these, uh, oh, yeah. these shapes on. That'd be, that'd be pretty awkward to do once we get it sewn up. And, and the reason I'm, I'm riveting all the way through instead of just these top two pieces is because the, this is a pretty heavy bag. Yeah, you have to you have to hold the ball. Yeah. And they're heavy. They're measured in pounds. <laughs> well, I mean, at least here they are. <laughs> all right. Or, you know, you Kilograms need a, need a bigger for you guys. Yeah. I was thinking a small rivet might work, but it's not going to. And everybody says, what size double cap rivet do I need? All you guys of them. buy a bunch of different sizes. Yeah. 
But rivets are the cheapest thing you can buy. Yeah, you can buy a hundred pack for like four or five dollars. And if you get all the sizes, every time you have a project, you can make sure that you have the right size for whatever it is that you're doing. Right. So, because it really needs to be, it needs to be pretty much whatever the width is or whatever that thickness is, maybe slightly longer, but you want it to be nice and tight. Um, because otherwise it's going to bend or go sideways or not, it just won't set well. So, it just buy all the rivets, don't mind buying a set of those, just mash them suckers flying. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> that's right. That's the way I do it. I know. Okay, this one I'm using a large, a size large rivet because I've got the shape is actually two pieces of leather. I've got this uh, one little uh, veg tan applique and the one green applique. That's quite a bit of leather. And then you've got the back. Here's the masher. Yes, and then the back, yes. Beautiful. That's that. And that's it. Yeah, I was trying to find you, and I walked the whole building, and then I here. tried to call you. I was here in part of the building. <laughs> Man. What, am I disturbing you in peace? Disturbing peace, somebody's calling the law. No, we just got your... Uh, Head knife over here just ringing away. Oh, did you see what else I did while you were gone, Liz? You painted the doors? Oh, I did do. I didn't do it. Jesse did it, but that was you we were have, you were here for that. I was here for that. What Our, did I do while you were gone on the website? No, I have not seen. The new catalog is on the website. Oh yeah, guys. And we have maybe six or seven sections that have been linked to the website. So you can just click on the item and it takes you right to the web page. If you like yeah. searching the catalog. Yep. Yep. So for those of you that have been anxiously awaiting um, our 2021 catalog. <laughs> it's uh, 2021. Slash 2022. And we put Survivor Guy because we all made it through 2020. Yeah. And most of 2021 so far. Yeah. So it is now up for you to scroll through on the website. Um, and like Tony said, we have uh, six categories that are linked to the items on the website. So if you are scrolling through it, you can click on the item that you're interested in and it will take you to that listing on the site. Um, they are at the printer. They are scheduled to start shipping in, I think, the 1st of December. Yeah. So if you guys have called in or requested one of our paper catalogs on the website, um, the printer is going to do all of the shipping for us so that we don't have to process that here because it's awful and it takes forever and we have to make like an assembly line. And plus, well, at this point of the year, you guys have ordered like, I don't know, 5,000 catalogs or something crazy. So I wouldn't um, even really say awful, Liz. Something that we've been doing here at SLC to make ourselves more efficient is doing things that we're good at yeah. and leaning things out. And we aren't good at shipping catalogs efficiently. Yeah, no, it's not our strong suit. Just, We're going to have like three pallets of catalogs. Yeah, that have we, to leave that's as soon three, as they got here. That's three pallets that... We could be filling your guys' orders instead of shipping them. <laughs> right. So we're going to keep filling orders. Anyway, so yeah, so the 1st of December um, is when the the printer told us that our stuff should be printing and going. So just in time, just in time, guys. Dean says, what's the catalog? I we've probably forgotten as well. <laughs> <laughs> But I'm excited about it being on the website, so you guys can see the digital version. Well, another it. way to look at it, too, the 2022 catalog is going to be out before the first of the year. Exactly. We are before... On the ball. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Thank you, Denny. Thank you. Uh, Starin says, is there a strength difference between using dome cap rivet setter and hammering it flat like that? The only difference is you end up with a dome on the cap of your rivet. To me, I like I like to flatten them out. I think it sets them a little better, a little more securely. But it, I would say that it's definitely more uniform because yeah. they're all flat, and your yeah. dome is sometimes. If you got your dome off just a little bit, 
and it's outside of the cap, then you've got a little spot yeah. on it that's not domed yeah. correctly. And these all look the same, you know? I mean, you can test that um, if you want to set one with a dome, and then you want to set one flat, and then you can attempt to pull yeah. them apart and see which one holds better. But honestly, they're going to be pretty similar. Um, and really, double cap rivets, they do hold well, um, but if you are looking, if you are in a situation where you need extra strength, uh, like a dog lead um, or something that is really going to have a lot of tension on it, we would actually recommend either a tubular rivet or a copper rivet yeah. um, because those are those are going to be really strength rated to take a lot of pressure. Yeah, these are these are two pieces. Anytime you've got two pieces of hardware together, you're you know yeah that's a a place for failure. Exactly, <laughs> exactly. Not that these fail a lot, but if no, you don't it's... get them set very well, they will. Yeah. Okay. Give you that back and I'll glue this. Alrighty. Unless you would rather I did that and you glue this. No, it's fine. Uh, so we'll fly down a few more questions as you guys. We're egg gluing, right? We're wrapping and gluing. So I'm not going to be talking over any important stuff here. We are roughing and gluing. Okay. Yes. Uh, Darcy says she... So Darcy used to do the catalog, right? Yes, mm -hmm. ma'am. So I like it when she comments on the work that we've been doing to it because I feel that for 20 years, whenever she was kind of doing it or however long she did it. She did it for at least a has, solid decade. She has some pretty good input. Love the work that you guys did on the digital. Chad and Holly did a great job building it. And then she thanked me for the work that's going on on the inside of it. And Stacy is also linking the items, which is very, very time consuming. Mm -hmm. um, let's see, what else? Angela joined us. She said, stupid work. I almost missed the whole video. <laughs> stupid work. <laughs> Sounds like Yosemite Sam talking about his mule. You stupid mule. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not sure why Andrea is talking about two of the pages are the same. I don't know. Maybe I need to look at the digital catalog again. Uh, Angela asks, do the 21 crazy days continue to hold over until it's gone? Or like for today, the fish and feather is just today, and then it'll be gone tomorrow. So to answer that, the fish and feathers is going to be on the website for sale at the price that we have it for 21 days. And it'll be on there from today, the 10th, all the way through the 30th. Tomorrow will be another item, and it'll be on there from the 11th to the 30th. Are, so, there, are there any items that have limited quantities that we're worried about? Yes. Okay. Uh, and I think they will have, it'll say something on there. Um, about about that. Most of that will be the leather type stuff. Fish and feathers. Yeah, fish and feathers. We happen. should be able to make that for the next five years. We yeah, we make that. We tried to keep a lot of the producing out of it, so you'll be buying sides of it instead of square foot. But there is some square foot leather that's in there. Uh, so I know people are concerned about the shipping part of it and having a bunch of orders in and. Yeah, so it, it should be, we should have enough inventory for you guys if you wanted to order once a week, once we get like a week's worth of stuff done. Or honestly, I mean, you could wait till the end, but just be aware that there might be a few items that could sell out by the time we get there. There are two items that I know of. One of it's the day 30 item that will only be for that one day, but then right. there is another one, maybe two items on Black Friday uh, that will just be for that day. Just for Black Friday. Right. Okay. All right, so we've got the outside all roughed up and ready yep. to glue. And I want to mark, if I can find my pencil again, these areas right where this thing bends up at the bottom. I don't know that I'll need it, but I want to have it there if I do need it. Hey, Jessica. She says she's late to the party too today. <laughs> Hi, Jessica. Hi. I'm always late. That's not true. Even when I'm here on time, I'm late. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now, let's see here. Okay. <laughs> Angel says, day 30 on 21 days of deal. Crazy. November the 30th. On the 30th. Sorry. So there I, is... I was mixing up day 21 with 
day 30. Day 21 is November the 30th. Yes, yeah, so just make sure that you guys keep that in mind. On day 21, so November 30th, that item will only be on sale for that day, and then it will be over. So just don't think that it just keeps going, but just really keep that in mind. November 30th, last day of the sale, that one item that goes on sale midnight or whenever it is that we turn that on will only be on sale for that 24 hours. All right, Denny, what's next? I've got to figure out where I want to put our little piece of piping. All right, I'm going to set my wing dividers at 3 eighths of an inch. And I'm actually going to measure it this time. Ooh, fancy. Yeah, well, this is serious. <laughs> this is a critical point. Where'd you go? Well, what I'm, I just went over there to something that I could measure this by. The reason is because we want this to be just on the outside of our stitch line. Mm. So I've got to make a mark here so I know where to put the, the piping on the... Gotcha. Got yourself a bubble. Yes, I do. That's going to be hard to see. It's going to be very hard. <laughs> but that's all right. I'll tell you what, maybe I can go this way, make myself a here. Mm, yes. I think that would be the smartest That's probably thing a good, to do. That's a good one. That little coaster in the bottom is. Yeah, it's a, right now it's a sore point. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Now I've got that. Are you going to glue that up? Now I got to, we scratched our center part off. Oh. <laughs> so Oops. I've got to remark that. <laughs> that's okay though. That's a simple fix. Now let's find the approximate center on this. Hi, Charles. Hi, Charles. Angela brings up a good point of why we do the live. She says, hey, got a, a work, work is summoning her. What happened? Nothing. Oh, okay. <laughs> Could have, but it didn't. Oh, okay. Let's call it. Uh, Angela was, has work was calling again, and she was like, thank you so much for answering our questions quick. And I think that's something we've kind of left out. Yeah, we have a good time, and everybody gets to enjoy the party, but... You, get, you ask a question, and we get to answer it, whether it's with our project that we're doing today or not. Right. We talk, we've talk. we been talking about, what did we talk about earlier? Everything. <laughs> what didn't we talk about? Exactly, earlier? what didn't we talk about? <laughs> Maybe that's a shorter list. Yeah, we, you know, we try to just in anything you guys have a question about, we try to answer. I mean, we're doing a specific project here, but... We know that you guys are doing something at home. Yeah, and if you're trying to follow along with what I'm doing, you're in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> deep, deep trouble. Oh, we're doing something fun tomorrow, Liz, online shopping. Yes, we are, Tony. Shall I talk about that one? Denny glues off screen. Go for it. So, I'm off screen. Mm -hmm. just, look, just a wee bit. <laughs> like how she slipped that right in there? You can tell me sooner. <laughs> yeah, so Tony and I did, um, when I came back yesterday, so Monday, whatever day it was, um, we started talking about, we, uh, the other day he, woo, what is that, Denny? That's a hundred bucks. That's not for you. This With is what us. Liz is talking about. Now, I really wanted it. <laughs> Don't pretend like you buy your leather. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Now wow. there is a burn. <laughs> yeah. Liz is 
full of them today. <laughs> Um, yeah, so Tony and I have just really, really enjoyed, um, you know, the last how many ever weeks of doing our live sales and then seeing all the stuff that you guys have been making uh, with the products that we are finding here in the store that we think are exciting uh, one-offs to, to sell you guys. Um, and we just really loved seeing all of those those projects. And so we thought um, as kind of a thank you to all of you guys that have been joining in with us. Um, the last, I don't know, what is it, three, four months now? Tw 21 weeks is what I counted the other day. So for, like, yeah, like four months. Five months? Good it, gracious. We were going to do it once a month is what we started off with when we yeah, did the very first one. And then we got excited and we were like, oh, we'll do this next week. <laughs> yeah, it was, it was fun. It's fun for us. We have <laughs> it is fun. Um, so in any case, we, we've decided to come up. Tony and I are going to build some like project packs with some of the scrap that we generate and or buy here. So we generate a lot of buffalo scrap in the shop. We've got a ton of upholstery, you know, we've got oil tan pieces, um, and then we just have so much exotic scrap. And so we're gonna put together these uh, $15 bags um, for anybody that wants to enter tomorrow when we do our live sale. We will, we'll have a couple of them built here, um, but it'll just be 15 bucks and you'll get this array of items. And all we ask is that you enter to win this $100 gift card, or I think we're gonna make it 115. Yeah, well, yeah. the person that wins, I can't change the amount of the gift card, so we'll either, we'll credit okay. them 15 or whatever yeah. we have to do for that. So the person, okay, so you can buy a bag tomorrow during our live sales for 15 bucks. Um, and then just by December 1st, we ask that you make something out of the items that we have sent you and um, post it on our social media. Do we have a hashtag? Uh, Using a hashtag that we will come up with this afternoon and have ready for tomorrow. Yeah. Um, and show us what you've made out of it, and then you'll be entered into a raffle to win this gift card. So it's a $15 entry fee. Um, obviously, we'll be doing it on the Thursday, so there's no shipping charges. And um, you can send us the picture wherever you can send a, a message, or you can post on it. Some people don't do Facebook. Yeah. So if you don't do Facebook or Instagram, if you can Twitch, email. If you're on Twitch and you happen to end up getting getting the item, and you can on email Facebook. to Tony or yep. myself um, and enter to win a gift card. Um, so anyway, so we'll have that ready tomorrow, um, just as a kind of a fun thank you for all of you guys that have been joining us. Uh, tomorrow's sale will be at the normal time, 2, yeah. 2 p.m. Central. Tomorrow at 2. How's it going, Denny? Well, okay. You look like I've, you're having I've fun. I've come to the first glitch in our little problem. I should have wet this first, but I didn't. So what I'm going to do, we're going to have a double stitch line here. Okay. I'm going to stitch this on, and I'm going to do the same to the other side. And then I'll, when we put the gusset on, I'll stitch it also. Oh, sure. You'll hold that one on. Yeah, I'm just going to stitch this one to hold it on for the time being. Seems reasonable. Tony has to finagle some cameras real fast. Because we only have four of them. And they're all pointed here right now. We just missed you, Liz. We want to see you from every angle. That's weird. Take a drink while you're on camera for everybody. <laughs> Abigail said, how about hashtag $15 bag bill, SLC? That's long. I just bent a needle. Hooey! That's what I thought. <laughs> <laughs> Do you have another one? Hopefully I've got more needles. If I've got Mm, how about tooled suspenders, Jenny? Have you made suspen Ooh. suspenders before? I have. You sound intrigued and very excited about that project. I can hear it in your voice. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe it was the own inflection I was putting in it. <laughs> I need to get another screwdriver. I'll tell you what, folks. What, what do you need? I got a red one. Oh, you got a red one? We were planning, we were planning on carrying this on. I think we should carry this on. Okay. Yeah, what are we to at? Friday. It's noon. I have a feeling Denny's going to go ahead and get this. How about you? Can you see this? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yeah, that isn't that nice. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> I did that. <laughs> I did it. Denny's proud of his accomplishment yeah. today. Do you want to sew your binding on? No. Or I'm you want to? 
I'm going to do that in the dark. Okay. <laughs> okay. But we'll do the. We can do the other side on, or sure. Okay. Yeah, I'll get this side sewed on. Okay. And then Friday we'll. Uh, well, you we'll go start there and the finish, the, finish the video. All right, kids. Anything else we need to talk about? I think I think we're good. <laughs> and we talked about all the things we're, to talk about. We're good. All right. Oh, we covered a lot. A lot of things. We got a November is crazy for us. All so, the time is crazy for us. Well, and I think most of it's probably us doing it to our, ourselves. That's true. All right, so we are here with the bag. So we will be back here. Denny will probably go ahead and get one side sewn on. Yeah, I, I think I'll, I'll stitch both sides on that are like this. Okay, yeah. So we're going to get this attached, and then Friday we will pick it up here. We will get the gusset put on here, and really, that that's it. Well, get it turned right side out and stitching this Oh, that's going to be a beast. That's, that's going to be the trick. So we'll be back on Friday with another adventure. Yes. <laughs> You All right. Join us on Twitch for the after party. We'll be on there for a little bit while longer. Okay. So Thank jump over guys. to Twitch. We will see you tomorrow at 2 for those of you that want to live shop with us. Um, and then we'll be back Friday at 11. Thanks, you guys. Bye. See ya.